by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So currently when you clean install Windows 11 or buy a new PC, some of the inbox apps that roll out built into the OS do not work at the get-go. And what they do is when you first launch, they start downloading updates from the Microsoft Store when you open the apps. Now this is all set to change because Microsoft now has announced yesterday on the 15th of July that when you install Windows 11 version 24H2 or Windows Server 2025 now using media refreshed in or after June 2025 the system will have the newer versions of apps out of the box. So what this means is you won't need immediate updates from the store and they say that the result is a more secure, compliant, and user-friendly experience from day one of deployment, according to Microsoft. With Microsoft saying all new media for these releases come with newer versions of the inbox Microsoft Store apps pre-installed instead of the release to manufacturing RTM version. So basically what this means is that the media creation tool and ISO images now include newer versions of inbox apps. Now if we head over to the announcement by Microsoft, here is a list of the 36 updated built-in apps, which as mentioned will be bundled now with the media creation tool and ISO images, just to mention two examples. Now I'm just going to scroll through this list, and you can always just pause it at the relevant timestamp if you would be interested, and I'm just going to carry on while that happens. Now Microsoft says, that previously, a freshly deployed Windows image might contain out-of-date apps with known common vulnerabilities and exposures. Newly built PCs or cloud virtual machines could trigger security alerts for outdated app versions as soon as they were deployed and until those apps received updates. With the new media refreshed monthly in or after June 2025, Microsoft says the apps are kept up to date, reducing vulnerability in Windows. Microsoft also says you'll notice far fewer app updates immediately after installation on devices imaged with the latest media. These devices won't spend their first hours fetching dozens of app updates from the Microsoft Store and updating. Instead, you'll save bandwidth and time and start using built-in apps immediately with the improved features and fixes in place. And that's according to this announcement by Microsoft made yesterday on the 15th of July. Now, I personally think that this is a move in the right direction, but there is a downside to this. There's a bit of give and take. The apps won't require an update to work as they previously did, but it also means now they're going to take up more storage because previously inbox apps were not fully downloaded and required to install updates from the store or by launching the apps. But since now the apps are now in a working condition and have more features, they will now use more system storage. So what this could mean at the end of the day is that your ISO images now will be slightly larger than they were previously to accommodate those more up-to-date apps. And the good news is with these inbox apps, all 36, is that most of these can be uninstalled from the system. And in regards to this, I posted a video a couple of days ago that Windows 11 25H2 which is this year's annual feature update, will add a built-in group policy bloatware removal option, making it easier to remove unwanted pre-installed apps in Windows 11. I'll leave that video linked if you'd like some more information. So there you have it. Those Windows 11 24H2 36 inbox apps will now come fully up to date in all new media. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.